October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we are celebrating a new option for survivors this morning. Dr. Michael Kim joined us to talk about more about this new option to reconstruction surgery and how it's different. Good to have you here this morning, Dr. Thank Kim. You. So let's talk about this a little bit. What are the changes that's happening? Well, um, a brief review on the implants. Um, if you remember, in the early 90s, the, uh, silicone and breast implants were taken off the market. They were liquid silicone. Uh -huh. And then what happened is, uh, after all the FDA did all the research, they were released in 2006. And so what they call a cohesive gel implant, go to the next slide, uh, was released. And uh, it's a semi-solid thick gel called cohesive gel. So some people started calling them gummy bear gels, but they weren't quite gummy as thick gels. as gummy bears. Hmm. Um, and so, if you can get to the next slide. Let's go ahead um, and move on over and we'll show you so because we're taking a look at silicone breast implants right now. If you cut the implant, you can see on the bottom, um, it's actually a gel, so it doesn't come out like liquid. So um, the uh, implant has a little better form. And you can see the difference there on all the pictures here. So silicone breast implants, the key facts to know about this is most studied medical device and the rest of the world all at this time. So now there's something new being developed. Yes, so uh, 2013, they quote, gummy bear, the thicker, highly cohesive gel, if you go to the next slide, was introduced and has a, a more of a thicker shell. And you can see on the bottom left, it's much more thicker, the true, quote, gummy bear, even though it's not solid. Uh, the advantages is that maybe when it leaks, it might have less chance of spreading, a decreased chance of hardening, uh, and their anatomical shape. Um, however, you trade off is the natural feel. So these are the original cohesive gel implants, but recently Mentor came out with an implant that's filled a little bit more. So um, as you can see, it's cured a little bit better. So on the bottom right, you can see how the gel kind of stays together and has a little bit more form to it, even though it's the same softer original cohesive gel that came out in 2006. Right, it looks more plump. And right. actually we have these in the studio. We can go ahead and get a picture of these. And you can just see the difference as you're holding them there. Um, and you could see how one is a little bit more more space in it, right? 85% so, filled, you were right. saying. Right, so these are in the 80s and this is the 90s. So um, just they were released this year. So now the implant is filled up a little bit more so it decreases the chance of rippling. You can see how the one on this side is foldable and you get more ripples here. And this one's filled up more fuller. So I think this is a better option now. It's just released a little bit more expensive. Uh, I haven't had a chance to use them since they were just released a couple weeks ago for us wow. to purchase. But I'm excited about this because because a lot of patients are concerned about rippling, uh, but still preserving the natural feel of a breast implant. This is very interesting and of course very important for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, bringing some more awareness to the situation and, and some new tricks this time around. Yes. <laughs> awesome, thank you for having you here, Dr. Kim. We'll be sure to post this online if you're interested in seeking more information about it. We'll be right back with a check on your weather and traffic, keeping an eye on that breaking situation in Charlotte County. We'll be right back after the break.